Hi everybody, can you hear me? I imagine you can. It's me, hello. Uh, cool. So that was an episode of television, wasn't it? Um, all right, so, well, never seen a television in your life, Bear Queen? I find that hard to believe, but I, I guess I can't, can't say that I think you're a liar, so, I don't know. Um, so, the, the vast assumption the vast majority of my thoughts at this point are that <laughs> my roommate was my my roommate's at home and drunk and mad about the the uh uh the the, the finale and now his mom just came by to pick up her dog um so yeah the um the, va the vast majority of my feelings on the Game of Thrones finale are basically that I should... I was expecting it to be bad. Thank you, uh, Nay, for my... Sh I like this shirt. I like... I like Peridot. Was the ending cute? I'm sorry, there's a conversation happening out there and I keep getting uh, getting distracted. Oh, hey, um, I'm probably not gonna be vague, Chubby Chan. I'm probably gonna get pretty specific here in a few minutes um, once I get my shit together. Oh, wanna start with what I did like? <sighs> Who's on the Iron Throne? Um, trick question. There isn't an Iron Throne anymore. But it's happening anyway, I guess. Um, Bran is. It sounds like a joke answer, right? That sounds really dumb. No. Oh yeah, the theme song was good, yeah. Um, it's... Uh... Please do, Robert. Um... Yeah, so this is the thing is that I was uh, I was expecting the show. I I had no hopes. Like I was expecting it to be kind of bad. Um my my expectations have been falling exponentially since season 5 and I did I've done several videos about it. And I probably I probably won't do a video follow, following up on uh on the points that I made in my season 7 video. Just because, at this point, I think Lindsay Ellis is going to do it. Um, and people are going to just watch that anyway. Um, yeah. Um, my the, the, the sum total of my thoughts are that I was expecting it to be bad in a notable way. I was expecting, like, um, Battlestar Galactica finale levels of bad. Of just, like, this is so wacky and weird. Like I was making the joke that Bran is going to see everybody dead and like go back and do a retcon and then we're going to flash forward to today and it's like uh, it's it's New York City today and Bran is like an angel walking around. Um, Hi, Craig. Uh, you still haven't changed your <laughs> you still haven't changed your profile picture. Um uh, and it's going to be present day New York and Bran's going to be like, ah, and Daenerys was, um, was mitochondrial Eve the whole time. And then, um, somebody walks by and is humming the reins of Castamere. Uh, 
not that exactly, but I was expecting Bran's powers to come into it in some way, as opposed to not at all. And um, instead of being interesting, instead of being bad in a way that was like, oh, this is fun. This is something that I can like rant about. It was just boring. It was predictable. And that's kind of been this entire season is it's been bad in the least interesting way possible, where it's just as middle of the road as you can get. And it's disappointing. I mean, it's it's like you would hope that if they're going to rain, if, if they're going to uh, uh, crash the, the train, if they're going to do a train wreck, that's what I meant to say. If they were going to if they were going to do a train wreck, they would like go for it. Right. But there's no authorial message here. Basically, the show ends kind of where it started. It's like, I don't know. I don't know. Um, There's so much symbolism in the last episode, like watching it with my girlfriend, uh, Arya getting on the white horse is like, the uh, um, the obvious thing was, oh, she's a pale rider on a pale horse. I wonder what that means. But, like, she doesn't do anything in this episode. And, like, John... Uh, John stabs Daenerys. There you go. I said it. It happened. I was expecting her to die. I was expecting Arya to do it, or literally anybody. Um... I don't know, the way that it played out was so just, when I scheduled this stream, I was expecting that I would be like, oof, that was bad, wasn't it? And like, I am like that, but I don't have much to say because it everything that was wrong with it pretty much follows suit with everything that was wrong with this season. Her dragon did survive. Uh, basically, John stabbed Daenerys, and then Drogon got mad and melted the Iron Throne because he understood the symbolic uh, importance of the Iron Throne and that the real problem was hereditary monarchy. And then he grabbed Daenerys' body and flew away and left John to be the only witness to her death. Um, but then I guess his dumb ass uh, told everybody what happened and so they locked him up and took him prisoner, which honestly that scans. Um, yeah, there was a lot of like, they didn't find the one piece, unfortunately. Um, but maybe next season. Like, it was so weird. There was a lot of like very heavy handed shit where, okay, there's the Iron Throne and Drogon like, Bur burned it, you know, instead of killing John, melted it. And that was a pretty cool visual. And then later on, everybody's like uh, gathered around and it's like instead of uh, selecting our king based on what uh, person what, who, who is like genetically whatever, Tyrion is like, well, I've had a I've had a long um, I've had a long sort of think about all of this and uh I think that Bran should be the king. And it happens when 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 that was suggested, me and my roommate both just started laughing because it's like, wow, is that really who they're going for? Sans is right there. Um, and then I don't know. It's weird. Um, like. The best part is when they decide that uh, they have to send John to the Night's Watch. Yeah, Sans is in this. Um, San they, they made uh, uh, Sans Undertale is right there. He would make a much better king than Bran. Um, instead, Sans Undertale is the queen of uh, the North. Um, I really like that they make uh, the North its own nation and they name it the North. Um, 
they um right so they've got all of the nobles around Sansa Undertale yep uh, they've got all the nobles in this circle and they're like we need to select a new king and they select and then Samuel Tarley stands up uh and he's like what if what if what if everybody what if you know the the we all you know we represent the people but we're not the people and who we who we select uh like will rule over everybody not just the lords and ladies and i think the person who should select uh uh the 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 next leader is everyone so he's basically saying like hey we should maybe have democracy and then everybody laughs at him and he sits down and it doesn't really come up again and um uh, uh, Tyrion basically says like we're going to make Bran the new king and since he doesn't have the ability to have children uh, that's a good thing which means that instead of having a hereditary monarchy they're going to select the new kings or queens um, based on the lords and ladies so it's slightly better but not by much <laughs> um I don't know the the nod towards like the the we the weird nods towards democracy is like um i don't know all, all of the weird nods towards democracy felt sort of like ham-fisted and thrown in and not really earned the thing is like basically all of the major things that happened on paper were things that make sense for the show and like were in character in a general sense but like, they didn't earn any of it. They rushed to the end. You can see the bullet points of um, what uh, uh, George R. R. Martin gave to them early on. It's like, these are the things that are going to happen. And I think that that's what they've been doing since season five is um, once they ran out of book, they basically just took to the notes that they had from George R. R. Martin and they're just like finding ways to uh, get from point A to point B until eventually they reach the end. And so there's no like, yeah, I don't know. There's, there's just, it's, it's bad. Um, uh, Oh, it's been filler for a hot minute. Even this season had a surprising amount of filler. Um, yeah, I see, this is the thing. Is that I was making the joke about um, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. And, like, uh, I sure wish, I, I, you know, instead of commissioning or instead of um, campaigning for a new end of the season, uh, why not just... Um, uh, 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 wait for some years until they inevitably do Game of Thrones Brotherhood after the uh, uh, after this the books are out. Um, but like again, yeah, yeah, I really wish that they had just thrown out the notes and done their own thing because it's surprisingly like again, it's not interesting. It's the the least interesting choice they could have made. Um. Everything was so paint by numbers. It's 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 kind of like it's depressing because you want to have something like I don't know you want to have something fun to play with, um, but also like when it comes to the comparison between Full Metal Alchemist and Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, I actually prefer um, the original. I don't like Brotherhood. Um, but like, I, um, it's frustrating, uh, they basically sidelined, I, I don't know, all the, ugh, ugh. Brotherhood is an anime, um, Full Metal Alchemist is a good show. Oh wow, that was a hot take. <laughs> that was uh, 
H bomber guy quality uh, hot take there. God, my hair is a mess. I'm just going bananas with it. There we go. Got that mad scientist look going. All I want is hair long enough to cover here so I can have bangs. But it's just not, it, it is not to happen. Oh, well. Oh yeah, uh, I uh, yeah, Craig, I agree with you. Um, the original Full Metal Alchemist version of Shao Tucker and the Nina story is so much better. Um, the emotional investment with um, Hughes is much better. Oh, thank you for saying my hair is cute. I disagree, but I appreciate it. Oh, thank you for saying so, everybody. Um, Oh, a spinoff of Game of Thrones? I honestly... I don't want to see a Game of Thrones spinoff. I... I'm kind of sick of merchandising. You know? I agree with you, Shade 101. The, the politics of the original feels more real to me. Um... Um, sitcom with the Night King yeah yeah like there are so many more interesting ways for the uh, this season is so bad like in the least interesting ways um, I like the obvious answer to the uh, uh, the 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 first big war, like fighting the undead army, is that there has to be diplomacy. Like you can't just kill the Night King and destroy everybody. Like you've got to talk to him and be like, no, this is the deal that we have to make. And nah, they just ugh. it's just boring. It's just boring. Um, oh, buddy cop show with Torment and Ghost, uh, with John as a disapproving police captain. I dig that. Um, thank you, Outerlands. I've had a lot of water, and I've got plenty of water here. Um, spinoff with y'all go to high school. Yeah, let's get a, a chibi Game of Thrones spinoff where... Um, uh, uh, everything is like really cute. It's like the exact same story, but everything is cute and over the top. Um... What plastic thing? What, Alexandria, what are you talking about? Bear Queen, you have a serious thing about killing God. Um, God, there's just like... None of the themes set up in the first four seasons, like, carry through. It, it's, it's just amazing how hard they dropped the ball in, like, the least interesting possible way. Like, it's, it's just such a forgettable... Ugh, such a such a forgettable ending um is orb gonna be okay yeah orb is doing fine orb is is currently taped together um orb took a fall while i was moving i'm in a new place by the way um i have uh let's see I can see i have like new windows with like wooden slatted covering ooh um and like sliding doors and another window oh hey and there's you hey look it's you everybody 
Look, everybody is to you. <laughs> um, yeah. Actually, I'll move my wine over here. How did I have you? Is that accurate? Uh, that's good enough. Sure. Um, yeah, Orb took a um, took a fall and needed to uh, uh, it needs to be like hot glued back together a little bit but it's fine it just kind of like took a split down the half um, but it still held us together just fine it was just like a little bit flimsy so it's not that bad um, yeah everybody everybody switched to live chat why does it 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 just decides what was I opening and closing was it this? Sorry, Alexandria. Is this what I was... Is this the thing you're talking about? It's a water bottle. Again, I don't have much like. Ooh, The Expanse is good. That's a good television show. I still haven't seen season three. I need to. Um... Oh, good, good, Gramps. Uh, you absolutely should have your subtitles done before you premiere your video. So I'm glad that you. Uh, I'm glad that you did that. Um, how's the weather? Right now, it's fine. Uh, it's supposed to get really bad tomorrow, so I'm excited about that. Mm. Um. Oh, uh, the finale uh, was the Game of Thrones finale, but I don't have much more to say about it unless people ask me questions. If you have questions or thoughts about the finale of Game of Thrones, I'll, I'll field them. Otherwise, I don't know. Um, yeah. um, oh, what would have been my ideal ending? Um, I, I don't know. My ideal ending would have been either that it got canceled after the end of season four, or it, the thing is that my, my, this isn't that far off from what my ideal ending would have been. Um, uh, oh, <laughs> on a scale of one to ten, how gay was the show in the end? Like, two, at best. And only because Yara is so strong, even though she, she got... She got oh, the Song of Ice and Fire! Oh! <laughs> Yeah, Sam Tarly shows up at the small council meeting at the very end and drops a book in front of Tyrion and is like, hey, Maester Aemon or whomsoever uh, wrote the book of all of the things that happened and it's called A Song of Ice and Fire. And Tyrion flips through it and it's like, where's me? Like, nope, it uh, doesn't mention you. Sorry, Tyrion. And that's it. Why? Yikes. Uh, it was... There were a lot of... There were a lot of really dumb nods. There have been a, d a number of dumb nods this season to the books. Like, um, when, right before John kills her, Danny is, like, in the, the, the throne room looking at the Iron Throne. And she's like, you know, when I was a child and my brother was describing it, you know, I, I thought that it would be... Uh, the size of an entire room, floor to ceiling, and um, uh, uh, that's how it's described in the books. Uh, but instead, you know, it's the smaller one because they went with something smaller and more practical for the show. So it was a weird sort of nod to the books again, which they did with the elephants as well. Um, 
Craig, that's exactly the joke that me and my roommate made like several times before that even happened was like, oh yeah, it's um, there and back again, Tyrion's tale. And then it was uh, a song of ice and fire. It just showed up. Um, yeah, this was a lazy season of television. Yes, yeah, Serena, I was expecting that um, uh, that Sam was going to write uh, Song of Ice and Fire if it was going to show up. So the fact that it was written by somebody else, like, oof. Hey, every Ninja Fork, welcome. Um, we're rapping. <laughs> um... Did, did did they pocket the budget? I don't know. I mean, it looks like they cost it cost them a lot of money. I doubt they pocketed it. Um, do a Dave do a Dave Strider? To rep. I'm nowhere near as cool as Dave Strider. I can't do it. Um, am I glad that I watched it? I. I don't know how to answer that question, actually. Uh, what do I think of Arya going to become a colonizer? I hate it. Um, I hate... I, I mean, I don't, I don't want to say I hate... I just, like, it's all just boring. It's all just a boring ending. Um, it's hard to hate that because it doesn't... They went with the least offensive... What does she do with the bro horse? Absolutely nothing. Um, she rides off on a pale horse at the end of episode five, and it's like, what does this mean? And then the next we see her, she's without the horse, and there's they just they just don't. There's no ending. It doesn't. Yeah. Um, oh, I I don't like anything. I don't like anything that happened this episode. There was one bit. What was it? There's one bit that I laughed at that I thought was good, but I can't remember. Oh, yeah. Uh, there's definitely going to be a lot of people now. There was a tweet that I retweeted. retweeted. Yeah, Grey Worm should have killed John. Um, uh, I actually haven't read the books. I've just read a lot of the wiki. Um, I'm not, I don't tend to be a fan of... Um, long form grandiloquent fantasy fiction <laughs> um oh what kind of wine it's cabernet sauvignon that's just what i well yeah. uh i really like my new place um uh it's it's nice. I have, um, I don't know. I did, and I also so yeah, Bear Queen. I um, yeah, I bought I bought book one the same time I bought Anya's Ghost as I recounted in that video, and I never finished it, and I sold it. Um, yeah, and that's as far as I ever got in the books. Um, I don't know. I tend to like. Uh, books that are written to be read by human people so I guess I'm biased in that regard <sighs> what's a good book I don't know Daniel Pinkwater. I don't know Bejold. Well, you should probably write that book, shouldn't you, Bear Queen? <laughs> um,
I don't know. I don't know who my favorite character if, is anymore. Like, I don't. I don't know. I don't. My feelings on the show have just become so muted that, like, all I'm, all I want to do now is rewatch Lost. There is a good tweet that I saw that was like, um, uh, get ready for everybody to start hitting um, uh, the prequels are good levels of the Lost finale was good, actually, after the Game of Thrones finale. And like, I've said since it aired that the ending of Lost as uh, the best... Uh, is, is, is excellent and very good um, but it's I'm, I've been waiting for it to be uh, to return to the, uh, the cultural zeitgeist but um, lost I love this box set let's see if I can scoot back and touch here and then aim you down and touch yeah this is what i'm going to do instead i love this box set so this is the complete collection of lost so in here let's see you've got a booklet that has um each episode uh listed on which disc it is plus um, descriptions of each, which if I remember correctly, some of these pictures, yeah, some of these pictures are really fucking spoilery, um, which I guess is fine since, you know, chances are anybody who buys the set is probably, uh, has probably already seen the show, but like, you know, that's weird. Um, and then there's a board game that shows up in season six. Um, that's oh shit. This is the actual like collection. Um, but uh, here we've got a uh, handwritten letter from um, Alvar Hanzo, or is it which Hanzo was it? Oh no. Um, uh, I can't remember. It's been so long since I was so into it. Um, there's so many cool little things. This is a uh, little portable blacklight, and there are hidden uh, images all throughout this set that you can only reveal with a blacklight. Um, and then there are the pieces to this little board game. And there's an Ankh. It has a secret letter on it, in it. So uh, I will return to this momentarily. This is just what I'm doing. This is how I, um, uh, this is my like palette cleanser. I think I've decided that I'm just gonna start rewatching Lost. Uh, although my dream is to do a um, uh, uh, um, the, my dream is to do a podcast or a video series or something with Cody Johnston rewatching Lost because Cody Johnston uh, is maybe the most knowledgeable Lost scholar of any and yes he is the news person He's the news dude. Uh, Luis Gonzalez, my Twitter is at HMS No Fun, as Alexandria Jarvis puts it. Um, but yeah, so you've got each of these here. Um, you're right, Tony. I was on the same Mermaids live stream as Cody Johnston. In fact, I'm the one who got him to go on there. Sort of, kind of. He was in the chat for a long time, and I said, hey... If you go on live, uh, I will come with you, and then I will yell at you about Lost for a minute. So we did actually talk to each other about Lost for a few minutes, but we were both very tired, and it was kind of, uh, um, it was it was weird. But um, 
Yeah, so each season on Blu-ray, obviously. So like in here, let's see. You can also, I mean, you can see these like hidden images. There's one. Um, I don't know if you'll be able to see it. Probably not. But let's see. Hmm. Nah. It's really hard to see. But there's a um, there's an airplane here. It's in um, I don't know. Um. But yeah, so all six seasons. Uh, on Blu-ray with lots and lots and lots of special features. But what I love about this set, get out of here, is that uh, it, you know, on the box it says like, there's so many, um, uh, there's, there's hours of exclusive special features on this set. And, uh, oh, whoops, there's actually like a special thing. My bad. Um, there's hours of special features just on this set. And get in there, little shit. Uh, you look for them. And so there's the Ankh that comes with it has a secret letter on it. And so there's, there's a bunch of special features on this set that aren't on any of the original things. But um, everything that I just showed you was only... Um, uh, only in like was was the same thing as what you got on the normal like blu-ray releases um so you break open this onk and you unroll this little piece of paper and um you've got two separate things so up top you have this line of symbols and then here you have these arrows uh so it's like what does that mean well, so here's the lid, right? And on the back, there's a uh, map of the island. And so in each corner, there's these symbols. And then they're also here. So you realize if you look at this, like, oh, wait, it says twist them. So you twist the map. And then it pops off. And there's your secret disc of special features. Um, and the only way, uh, once you pop that disc in, it's locked. And the code to get to the actual features are those arrows. It's so good. <laughs> um... I love this box set. I found it like it's way out of print and I was on the lookout for it for years and I found it at a um, a used video store like five years ago, I think. And um, I think it was like $150 um, and it was basically unused and um, I like I didn't have the money for it at the time, but my friend, I was just like, "You ha please, please buy this for me, and I promise I will pay you back." And like I, I talked at him about it for ages and ages, and finally he's like, "Okay, fine, just shut up about it." So he got it for me, and I did eventually pay him back. And like, this has been the, um, is that right? No, this has been the uh, the pride of my collection for a while now um, oh yeah ARG to get the special features basically I mean lost more or less um, set the standard for what ARGs are uh, in our popular conception of them um, That is so good. I actually uh, dropped it. Um, well, that's not quite true. This shelf collapsed. Um, 
uh, a while back. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, so you'll see this like sort of orange line there. Uh, this bottom shelf was actually not designed to hold all of that. So the whole thing like tumbled and fell uh, a long time ago. Um, this is before I had orb in my possession. And so a number of my books actually fell and got kind of dented and stuff. But um, I, uh, uh, I basically repaired this shelf and I had to repair it again when I moved. Um, so, and I put a much stronger piece of wood over top. Um, but this was on top of that shelf whenever it collapsed. And it was the only thing that took significant damage. And the significant damage was at this corner kind of split. Um, and that legitimately made me so mad and sad that it's like, uh, of course, this is the one thing that took damage. So yeah, this is legitimately my favorite show. And someday I am going to do something about it. Um, let's see where we're at here. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, the important stuff is safe. Like, I'm not that worried about it. Um, the thing is, uh, I don't really care about... Like, I'm a collector, but I don't really care about pristine aspects of collecting. What I care about is the fact that the thing that I have is important to me because I enjoy what it is, I guess. So, like, Lost is my favorite show. It... Uh, it was a huge, huge, huge part of my growing up, and I um, having it was like is, it was really important to me. Um, I don't know, like the fact that the box is like fucked up a little bit is totally fine because I still have the I, I still have the show, and like I can watch at any time. Like it didn't if it fucked up the discs, I would be sad because Lost is kind of I can't remember what streaming service it's on now and. Um, I don't know. There's a lot of really good features on there, but, um, oh, Jennifer, I think that Lost answers all of its own questions and I understand everything that was going on. Um, but you have to understand that I've watched the entire show through, uh, from beginning to end at least three times. And I've watched, uh, most seasons upwards of 10 times. Um, I even, like, I have the Lost Encyclopedia. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I am, uh, I, the, the show makes sense to me. <laughs> and I think part of the reasons why, part of the reason why Game of Thrones was disappointing to me, um, oh yeah, I did my homework. As it was going on, I took part in every single ARG and like read, I, I mean, I listened to the, the official podcast. I was on the forums. Uh, they had ARGs between each season. Um, there is a lost version of Vati Vidya. It's um, Cody Johnston's old Tumblr blog. Um, that I thought was just called The Lost Doctor, but apparently it's called something else. Um, he also has a couple of cracked articles. Um, yeah. Problems with Game of Thrones. No airplane, no island, no bears. There were bears in Game of Thrones. There was a whole song about it. The bear, the bear, the maiden fair. Um, and... Uh, uh, there were also capes. There were a number of capes, actually. Uh, and there was... Um, there was Starbucks. <laughs> and um, there was... They spent some time in the desert. There was, but there was plenty of sand. Maybe not enough sand. I guess, yeah. Game of Thrones definitely needed more gay. Um, yeah, inadequate bears is true. Uh, but also, like... Lost could use more gay as well, but I'm more inclined to give it 
a pass on the gay aspect of things because uh it it was actually like there's a a a, an offhand reference to the fact that the character tom uh who is like a background antagonist is gay and that was like a big reveal uh this happens i believe right before he's killed (laughs) um oh no he'd already died at that point that was during a flashback um if you watch the show you won't know who tom is uh even after you've met him so it's okay um but yeah i think that's the only like explicitly gay shit in lost and like the thing is lost was made in, in an awkward time in american television where it was still like it was a pretty progressive show at a time that television was very conservative so like the main characters there's uh saeed michael is a black man uh sun and jin who are korean uh people um is everybody else just fucking white i think everybody else is just fucking white oh uh 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 hugo is um Hispanic American. Um, I'm running through. Yeah, basically, everybody's just white. But like... Uh, oh, Serena. It was definitely the sensate of its time. And um, there are a lot of similarities. I'm very excited to rewatch sense once I uh, get through the rest of my... Uh, um, Wachowski series. Uh, Epic Ninja Fork, I am talking about Lost now. Um, but yeah, Lost as a show, like, uh, if, if I had to say what its biggest flaw is, it would be that it was, uh, it's stuck. Um, it was a show that aired in between two eras of television. It was at the very end of an old era and the very beginning of a new era, um, yeah, we're going to get more Wachowski videos. That's like, I said that that was the whole thing. Um, oh, what's on Orb? Tape. Because it fell and kind of split. Um, oh, yeah, Bernard and Rose were um, big. Um, I do need more wine. I'm about to go get some. Yeah, Bernard and Rose were fucking great. No, yeah, Lost is really progressive for its time. Um, and as a, for, from the perspective of the medium itself, Lost did... A shit ton of stuff that uh, is now standard for television. I firmly believe that um, Lost was the progenitor of everything that we regard as the golden age of television now. Um, More Twin Peaks stuff is coming. Um, It's it's slowly on its way. Here is um, so here's here's sort of the tea about that is that. starting this month or maybe no it'll be starting next month what's going to happen is that um me uh so if you know the um youtube channels uh, moth cub and uh curio rambles um uh, uh lily who is moth cub eric of curio and then me are going to start a twin peaks rewatch podcast Uh, We're going to be recording that throughout the next month to premiere, I believe, either at the end of next month or the beginning of July. And um, uh, that's the point at which um, we are going to... That's the point at which I am going to be um, doing more Twin Peaks videos because that's basically what I'm waiting for is a rewatch of um uh uh uh, like i'm i've been waiting to do a rewatch of a lot of stuff even though i have my notes and things and a a lot of the video series has to be kind of reconceived from what it was at the time so i promise you that like twin peaks stuff is not like off the table it's just there have been developments um when am i analyzing gears of war um I, I would have to play it first, and I'm probably not going to do that anytime soon. Um, 
Oh, how do you get moderator? I don't know. How do you get moderator? I'll be right back. I'm gonna get more wine. Um, let's see.
Well, hello again, everybody. I'm back. I'm here. Ah, goodness. So, I'm gonna make some guacamole. Um, how we doing, everybody? Oh, Homestuck video is coming either, um, it'll be either, I think it's going to be the next video after whatever the video that I'm about to do is. Uh, I, I hated, I did not like the series finale of Game of Thrones. No, I did not. Um... Um, Bear Queen, you don't have to give me money to uh, ascertain my opinion about your uh, your poem. I told you that it was lovely. Um, I'm not much of like a a critic of poetry, so I can't say like much more beyond that, unfortunately. Um, I don't really have a guac recipe. I'm going based on what my girlfriend told me, and I don't have any jalapenos. So I'm just going to put in some ground chili powder, <laughs> which is not going to be super great. Um, but I'm drunk and hungry. And now I'm crying because I'm cutting onions and not because I miss my girlfriend. Um, these are actually pretty okay. Crying wise. Oh, thank you for the money, Artemis. Um, it was truly a lovely poem. Oh, there it is. Whee! Woo! There it is. Mm -hmm. Also, y'all were asking if I took a bite out of a tomato. I did. Ah, delicious. Um, the poem is in a Curious Cat that I just did. Uh, or that, it's a recent Curious Cat. So if you go to my Twitter, at HMS No Fun, um, you can find my Curious Cat, which I think my Curious Cat is just curiouscat.me slash HMS No Fun. Um, either that or it's curiouscat.me slash Sarah uh, either Otherwise... Yeah, just go to my Twitter, and you can find it there. Uh, I'm not used to dicing shit. This is a lot of onion. Maybe overdid it on the onion front. I should see how much avocado this avocado is. I should have checked if this was, this feels right. Shit, 
I should have gotten a napkin of some kind. What can I use? It was my shirt. Because I'm a monster. Uh. Okay. Oh. That's good. Good night, my girl. Oh, this, this avo. This cotto is in perfect condition. Ugh. No, I like these pants. What's the least monstrous thing that I've done? Compliment an avocado? Oh, or, yeah. Thank you, I love these. Uh, I love these leggings. These are exceedingly good leggings. Oh, this is in such good shape. Um, so I've never actually made uh, guacamole before. So we shall see. I know it's supposed to be lime, but I don't got any, so. And I don't have any cilantro either. Oh, fuck. Like, if that's what that is. I don't know. I know there's a garden herb that I'm supposed to cut up fresh. But I didn't buy, because I am a fool and a charlatan. Selena, how can you tell an avocado is good? Um... Partially it's by the color of the skin and partially it's by how it feels. Um, so you want the, uh, the uh, when, a, when, a, um, when an avocado is too fresh, it is really, really hard. Uh, so there's like a, a, a very good level of like softness. When I was at the store shopping for avocados, uh, the one, a lot of the ones that I found were like way too soft. So like, you would have to eat them that moment or they would just be in bad shape. Um, a, like a good avocado, you can just kind of like feel that it's ever, ever so slightly, you know, soft. And then you cut it open and I don't know, you can just sort of tell. I can just sort of tell. I don't know to tell you. Um, if you know how to tell when an avocado is in good shape, that's how you know. And an avocado is in good shape. So I don't have anything to uh, uh, dip the, uh, the the guacamole in. Uh, like I don't have any chips or anything. And um, I'm trying to do keto, which I had a fucking blueberry muffin earlier uh, during the uh, Game of Thrones finale because I was weakened. Another thing that fucking Benioff and Weiss ruined, am I right, folks? Thank you for the hair compliments. How's everybody doing?
I need some white light. There we go, much better. Hmm. Just need to be able to actually see my fucking guacamole. Looks like a good amount of onion. Okay. I can hear my roommate complaining to his not girlfriend about uh, Game of Thrones. God, I hope they're not watching this. That would be awkward. So y'all got any questions, any thoughts, feelings? Oh, I've got an episode of the podcast that I need to edit to go up tomorrow. Oops. I'll do that here in a bit. I'm liking my new place quite a lot. What do you want, Burb? Yep, this is ASMR. You nailed it. Let's see, do you want more tomato? There's just the one good enough. Make it more ASMR. -y. Is that the new Katamari Damacy game? Oh god, I got avocado slime all over my fucking chair. What's up, Icon? How's life? We're just in here making guacamole. Because ain't nobody going to do it for us. Why don't I carry in Fortnite? I don't understand that question. Although I get the joke. Those are probably slightly too big, but that's fine. here watches Brian David Gilbert? Probably everybody. I certainly do. Okay. 
That certainly smells like guacamole. Not sure what that taste is. See you later, Icon. Thanks for stopping by. That's probably too much. That's fine. All right. That makes sense about carrying. It's a lot more spice and a little bit more salt. This has become a very strange live stream. Oh no, Serena should have food. All right, let's taste this motherfucker. No, you can definitely taste the spice. No, I am not, um, I'm not counting calories. Um, I don't bother with that. I think it's kind of a silly thing to do. I just try to keep my carbs low. Um, do I have a favorite anime? Um, I mean, my favorite anime is definitely going to be uh, Full Metal Alchemist. But uh, beyond that, hmm. Hmm. hold on. I'm going to take this to the kitchen. I'll be right back. I also really like Evan Gillian. Um, oh, there you go. Yeah.
Um, I don't really have like a specific favorite anime. Like, I don't know. I always want to watch more. Um, I really like Kill la Kill. Um, I really dig. Uh, The one with the, the deer skull husband that is really problematic. I need to watch Lane. Um, there's a lot of other ones I need to watch, honestly. Ancient Mage's Bride. Thank you. I really like that one, even though I admit, admit that it is um, uh, problematic, but whatever. Oh, oh goodness me. Thank you, Jacob Nelson. Um, yeah, food being prepared instead of talking about Game of Thrones. I talked about Game of Thrones a bit earlier, but um, I kind of ran out of takes. I definitely chopped the onions too fine. They need to be thicker, weirdly enough. Well, salt isn't bad for you, um, and milk isn't bad for you. Um, things, it's like, it's, it's the quantity more than anything. I'm glad that making guacamole to completion was really satisfying for you. I'm gonna move this camera back up a little bit. No, no, I don't want that vision. Where are you? There you are. Ugh. Nice and close. Uh, there we go. Nah, nah. Good enough, sure, why not? I like spicy stuff. I guess my body wasn't ready for it. I've already forgotten most of what was in the uh, the Game of Thrones finale because it wasn't that good. Uh, Epic Ninja Fork, I don't do shots. I do not like shots.
Yeah, I would die from that drinking game. Back of the throat. Oh, good luck with your finals tomorrow, Burb. Good luck. And thank you for stopping by. I'm going to eat the rest of this tomato. What are my thoughts on thorium reactors? I don't got any. I don't know. Oh. Yeah, I guess I'm a poly demisexual. Yeah. Polyamory is the future literally the future that the, the, the liberals want. Ah, goodness me. keyboards all the way over there. Don't knock anything over, especially not the wine. Why do you keep me caught on shit? coming off as such a white person right now. I have like a teaspoon of cayenne pepper and that guacamole and I'm all like, oof, oof, so spicy. Okay. Go away, open. Oh yeah, gay keyboard. <laughs> mm. Right, I can. Get to some deeper colors. There we go. Yeah. <sighs> <clears throat> yeah, my, um, 
I guess my sexuality is gray and gray ace. I don't really. Things are kind of up in the air in that department right now. Um, <clears throat> I'm uh, in an interesting situation with my girlfriend and uh, in the process of hopefully searching out people um, to maybe start dating simultaneously. <clears throat> Totally possible to be poly and upset at hearing a partner want to date another jealousy and fear for the current relationship changing pre loss is legit. Give yourself time to ponder yourself. Well, the thing is, like, um, I'm the new person in my current poly relationship. Like, my girlfriend had a boyfriend before me, and then I showed up. Um, and I'm friends with her boyfriend, and I've been friends with him since before we officially started dating. Um, I'm more just like things with us have worked out so well that a lot of my assumptions about myself are in deep question at the moment. So I don't know. Oh, sorry, Bear Queen. I haven't kept up with the whole chat. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah. That makes sense. Whoops, yeah. What's the... Well, <clears throat> pansexual is, you know, you're cool with um, having sex with basically anybody, hypothetically. Polyamory is willing to date multiple people at the same time. God, my hair is a nightmare. Hmm. There's also polysexual, which means attraction to multiple genders, basically, but not necessarily all genders. Yeah, that makes sense. I think. I don't know. I think a lot of those distinctions are things that aren't... You know, if, it, if it helps a person feel better about themselves, that's all that really matters. Um, I don't find a lot of those distinctions particularly like linguistically useful, but that's me. I don't know. I pass no judgment. I'm trying to think of what else I have to eat because I'm still hungry and this is a bad time. Well, the thing is, poly is not like polysexual as far as, as far as I know isn't. Well, OK, I don't I guess I've never heard of polysexual as a thing for me. It's like polyamory is like. A specific thing of like being willing to date more I don't know I don't know again like all of these distinctions are kind of needlessly complicated to me for me it's just like I'm hypothetically attracted to more or less any gender um, as far as I know and like I'm still preferential to women um, I don't know. 
nothing's really at the table for me and otherwise I'm more demisexual than anything I like people who are intelligent and who like we understand each other I don't know people to whom I have a connection I don't know <clears throat> it's all very complicated Um, okay, no one's actually up. All right. Um, I'm probably going to call it a night because I'm tired. I want to be in a sensate cluster too. That would be really nice. Um, does anybody have any closing questions or thoughts? Yeah, I think those telepathic orgies would be real nice. That's my feelings on it. <laughs> Bye, Sarah. Yeah, Selena, that makes sense. Um, being attracted, um, being attracted to basically like figuring it out on a person by person basis is ultimately, I think, what everybody has to do. And these terms are only as important. Like, the thing is that these, the, the terms are not, like, facts about yourself. They're, like, a convenient shorthand that helps you communicate to others and maybe to yourself. But ultimately, they're, like, like I said, they're not facts. And you can meet people who make you change your, your, your opinion. Uh, thank you, Red Files. Um, I, um... I wish that this part of my hair was thicker. Um, I'm very self-conscious about how thin my hair is, but I'm glad that y'all seem to like it. Um, I'm frustrated by like how thick the sides are and how thin the top is, but... <laughs> Well, I'm glad you like it. Um, <clears throat> thank you, everybody. That actually means a lot to me that y'all like my hair. Um, it's one of like the hair on my head and then the hair on my face are the two things that I are I are that I am the most like dysphoric and uh, frustrated by. Um, okay, I'm gonna call it there. Uh, thank you all for joining me on this wonderful stream. Um, we made guacamole. We talked a little bit about Game of Thrones. A lot more about Full Metal Alchemist than I was expecting. A lot more about uh, Lost than I was expecting. Um, let me know on Twitter, at HMS No Fun, um, what I should do in future streams. Um, I'm glad that you all had a good time tonight. And... Uh, yeah, there's links in the description if you want to support my shit. I am uh, financially uh, in a position right now. <laughs> uh, working it out. Um, but yeah, I'm glad that y'all like the stream. And I will see y'all another time. And I hope y'all have a good night. A good rest of your week. Which is not much for most people. Uh, I hope you all have a good next week and uh, wish me the best of luck in this um, uh, this hellscape this present uh, tomorrow is like supposed to be a big storm day for Oklahoma so um, let's hope that hold on Okay, I'm going to post a link to the Discord. Um, 
there's a link to the Discord. Um, yeah, I've got a Discord server uh, that is pretty chill, pretty good place to go. Um, uh, when will I be streaming again? I've been aiming at Sundays, but I might do different days as well. It just sort of depends. Um, uh, hopefully this week, I've, I'm only literally today finally to get, finally starting to get all of my shit sorted out here. So um, I am hopeful that this week I will actually be able to record a video which I don't have anything scripted yet, so we'll see. But yeah, I need, I'm, I'm hoping that I'll be able to get a video out before the end of the month. Uh, I haven't recorded anything yet. Um, oh God, I need to finish editing that podcast. Whoops. Okay. Uh, thank you all so much once again. Um, yeah, I will see y'all another time.